Greetings and salutations, this is Pandora the Ecliptic, and this is a video to those who are feminists who continue to attack people like amazing, the amazing atheist. And I only have one thing to say to you. Why? Why do you need to attack him? Or if you're going to attack him, why can't you attack him with reasonable arguments? Okay? Reasonable ones. I The reason why I'm making this video is mostly because I just finished watching a video by the Amazing Atheist, and, well, let's just put it this way. It was made by a feminist who apparently was attacking him for a video he made on Aeneas Sarkeesian blowing off some meetings she had to have with a certain school or something like that. Which, because I guess she got a threat from some person over the internet that I guess he was going to bomb the school or something like that. So, you know, she dodged. Which was reasonable, but only in the sense that, uh, well, you should be paranoid because you should be paranoid kind of way, in my opinion. That's about it. She didn't know that was going to happen. It's just the typical, like, I guess that kid who... Yeah, you remember a while back, there was some kid who got put in jail for at least six months for saying something on his Facebook page while playing a video game. Apparently, it was like some sarcastic thing he said to his friend. It wasn't really meant to be taken the way that it was. In fact, his friend didn't tattle on him. His mother, the Canadian cunt, as she's known, decided to take it a lot further and, well, now, I don't know what happened to him, but he ended up in jail. That's all I know. I don't know what else has happened to him. I hope he's out because all I can say is, you know, I understand Canada. It would have been a bad idea. I don't know what things are going on in Canada. I know there's been some crazy shit going on up there. But here in America, you got freedom of speech. And that goes for the internet, too. Oh. So you can't necessarily do what you just did, madam. Uh, also, but however, you know, you got put in jail for something that he might have done. And, and I mean, it doesn't help that he said it, and, you know, this and that. But anyways, most often, people who threaten on the internet only make threats because... I guess something inside of our brains kind of just says, I hate you, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to shoot you. Frankly, all you have to do is just take a deep breath, calm the fuck down, you know, calm your tits, as TJ would say in America, calm your tits, and just move on. Because 95% of them really don't mean it, and it's really not meant to take that way. However, I do understand if it have been constant comments, like this has been a repeat, like, when I say repeat, it's not just like, okay, one or two videos every three weeks, okay? He's a creeper, but, you know, it's either someone who just doesn't have to have a life and just wanted to leave, or just wanted to leave an nasty comment because he's an asshole. That's it. Then just go on with your life. He's an asshole. Live your life, Anita. And I think that was basically the whole point of that video. Just quit being afraid of people who might attack you and focus on what you actually believe in, even if what you probably believed in was complete bullshit yeah, for whatever. Um, she had a right to express her feelings and emotions about it. And we know good and well she really didn't. It was more of a 
she she's using the internet, using feminism, and the fact that a lot of women get harmed and whatever, and think, oh, video games are linked to it. Most people don't believe this shit, and neither do I, but why not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess in defense of that, you know, I was getting for a guy who has probably had to do tons of, you know, censorship stuff. Probably has been threatened against, too, like, when you think about it. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point of the book I'm reading. Um, what other things? Yeah, but this woman who was defending Anita. Most of the arguments you said, and I'm cutting with TJ on this point, didn't make any sense either, okay? It, you know, the thing is, a lot of these feminists, to me, are just as bad as the people that they seem to want to attack and are angry with, in my personal opinion. And they are no more defending my rights as they are defending yours or anybody's rights. So, for me, it's like, just try something else. Do something else. Find something more constructive to do with your life besides hammering someone who doesn't want to believe what you believe. Or forcing someone else to do it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not much better about this. I guess the exemption of this would be Pacific Echo. Pacific Oceano, whoever that fuck he is, is that I don't bother with him anymore because, you know, you can't change people's present, you know, attitude towards homosexuality, even though most of the shit that they were saying wasn't true, wasn't trying to change his mind, it was just to get him to understand, no, sweetie, it's real. Hmm. Okay? We're... You don't have to like homosexuality, however, you don't need to be saying that it's not real. Because none of these people are under a delusion, they're happy with what they're doing. It's just your way of trying to tell them what to do with their own lives, which is probably what it was. And, most, and not even that, even if they were telling people, oh, you're under a delusion, that's besides the point. It's more often... So, people can't just live their lives the way they want to. And if they are under a delusion, why can't they live a delusion? Because you're not lit. You know, you expect me to let you believe whatever you want. Then, okay, you believe whatever you want. So, as long as you can let other people believe whatever they want. And that's it. Let it be. And, yes, whether they like it or not. Homosexuality is a real thing. We know. But yeah, he's made videos about this shit. I, like I said, I'm going to dissect that video another time. But that's for another time. You know, anyways. Yeah, I don't know why. At all. At all that feminist attack is amazing. It doesn't make sense. Especially not on the internet. And the thing is, these, and I agree with him, are probably pseudo feminists, people who say they are. You know, the women who say, we don't need no men. You know, the stereotypical women who think, yes, I'm strong, I'm woman, hear me roar, because I heard it in a Katy Perry song or something like that. I mean, heck, I've heard plenty of music that, you know, foster. Oh, okay. A good example of this might be, you know, I. I'm a black person, and yes, there's tons of music I think that's supposed to be empowering to black people. Yet for some reason, let's say we lived in a world where I could only buy black music. You know, that would be kind of racist, now wouldn't it? It's like it's kind of sexist that you will only listen to stuff that's for women, just like... If TJ only listened to manly type music, to me it's like, do whatever you want. You know, that's the whole thing. Listen to whatever music you want, do whatever you want, do not force yourself to follow some stupid ideology set by anyone other than you, yourself, and I. Because getting down to that point, motherfuckers, <laughs> it'd just be better if you followed your own 
ideology. But anyways, yeah, I don't know why feminists do this. It's like, just let the guy be. I know I'm not making great arguments either, but most of the time I'm sitting to like, okay, here comes another argument, like, are, you know, women aren't getting paid enough. Well, that, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, is a big fat lie. Hey, okay, women get paid about the same amount. The problem is, more often with insurance and paying to make sure that if the woman, if, if, she was to get pregnant or have children or get, you know, get married or whatever choice she had. That's what they're trying to kind of balance out. And likewise, you know, they pay men less because, well, if anything, if they were, it was to subsidize that. And, well, you know, yeah, anyways, I, I don't know all the full dimensions of it, and I want to do more research onto it. I've been only allowed to have five hours, and whenever I get those five hours, I tend to eat it up real quick. Like, when I say oh, five hours, five hours on the internet. Me and my roommate are trying to, you know, save money, if we can, so that's our way of doing it. Anyways, that's my personal take on this. I just don't understand why feminists attack amazing atheists at all. It just it's gotten to the point where it's like, it's stupid, just friggin' stupid now, okay? Anyways, thank you for listening and watching this video. Oh, and why I say listening is because sometimes even I have gone over and played games while I'm watching other people's videos. Not to be rude, but, you know, I, like I said, I only get five hours on this thing, so between that and all my other things... There you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. You're great. And please click subscribe. Follow me on links that will be down below. And, well, this is Pandora Requesting. Tell you to keep it frosty and the feminist. Keep. Well, no, nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that because that's discrimination, in my opinion. Anyways, keep it frosty.